this is Polio Jr. and today I just wanted to show you how to install a junction box uh, and the biggest thing that the junction box is used for is to input um, uh, the power supply from uh, the circuit breaker and then distribute it to different parts in the house to um, either an outlet or a light switch um, whatever you need to power up uh, to get power to so the first thing we want to do, we're going to act like this piece of wood is a joist or a stud. And we are going to ins uh, install the, the junction box into uh, the joist. The joist or our mock joist. Make sure that's snug in there. Usually two screws will do the trick. Just do one, two. sure that it's secure and it is definitely the two screws will definitely do it now there was no grounding pole on this so I'm actually just going to put uh, an additional screw in this middle part right here I mean in the lower part and I'm going to get it just enough so I can hook the ground onto it so that's what it looks like right now that's our junction box so from here we're going to want to install the main feed. Um, now the main feed is obviously coming from the circuit breaker, so you definitely want to make sure that's off. So hit, hit, make sure you find that breaker, turn it off, and you're going to use your multimeter to make sure that there's no power coming from it. So from there, you would hold, you know, either side to the black and the white, and if it doesn't light up, you're good to go. You're good to play with it so and just so you know um, what you the only things you're really going to need in this are a screwdriver um, wire cutter some kind of pliers electrical tape wire nuts and then just the multimeter to make sure that there's no power coming from uh, the wires that we're about to put in which there was not so we're going to do that put the wires in. This is coming from the power supply from the circuit breaker. So we're going to get them in there. And we're going to try and make it a nice little snug fit and get our screwdriver. And we're going to tighten down the bolts on the outside to make sure that that wire is secure. It's hard to do, make quick videos of this. I know we all want to get everything done like right away, but um, especially when you're working with electricity, um, you know you want to take your time and safety is definitely first because getting shocked is not very fun. So right now we're going to tighten that guy in. So we have our power supply feed in. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the other feed. Now this feed that we're going to have is going directly to a light switch. So it's going to be the same premise of putting this, how we put the main power supply in, and we're going to put it in through this top part. And we're going to screw that in now. Make sure we have a little bit of wiggle room. Not too much because the box does get full pretty quick and we're going to tighten this guy down make sure this is secure so nothing is loose so this is the one wire where the power is going to be distributed there try to have the try to have the wire in the middle So this one is going to is going to a light switch. So this is what we have so far. This is all mock set up. So we have the power the yellow cord is the power supply coming in. This is the cord that's going to go out to this light switch. 
And then we have our last but not least, our other Romax cord that is going to go to, um, I'm having it go to a, a mock outlet here. So, get these cords in here. And as best as we can. Now this one doesn't have any screws, but this, like I said, this is just for sort of, you know, educational purposes more than anything else. So, right now, we have our power supply, the yellow, it's coming in. And then we have our line going to a light switch where we want the power to go to the light switch. And then we also want the power to go to um, this outlet over here uh, simultaneously. So they're all going to be on the same breaker. So if you were to hit that breaker, um, the, that switch and that outlet would go out. So they're all connected to the same thing. So from here we're basically just color coordinating. And I cut these down, um, the black and the whites, I stripped them. Um, you know, just a couple inches, enough to, enough to grab, um, and just enough for them to grab onto. And then this is really the fun part because you're, you don't have a lot of room here to work with most of the time. You have some wiggle room. You can pull the wires, the the Romax wires, in and out as needed. But we're gonna see what our best line of defense is here. So I'm going to put, I'm going to separate those guys. And I think first I'm going to do the black wires. So this is where you would usually use, um, you're going to use the pliers to get these guys together. And you always want to try and make sure they're facing up. So they'll screw into the wire nuts pretty easily. So black, black, and black. It's always the, I usually try to do the first two and then sort of, if I can, twist that third one on there, if I can, which is, nuisance but it's not that big of a deal. So we're getting all these black wires uh, as straight as we can and just to make sure that they're all connected. So we have our black with hot wire from the power supply, the black wire to the outlet and the black wire to the uh, or the light switch and then the black wire to the outlet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wire nut these bad boys together. So and you usually want to try and wire nut them so you can't do it anymore. Don't do like a snug fit. Do it as tight as you can. And then when you're done with that, you're going to want to tape underneath. Um, just for any, there are any exposing wires. Um, it's just a good habit to do anyway. So just to make sure that there's nothing exposed. So, okay, so we have our blacks done. Next thing we want to do are the whites. And let's see what our best course of action is here. So now we have the whites here. We do the same thing. Start, I'm just going to wrap this one around to this top part. Make sure at least they're connected a little bit. I'm not going for, you know, gusto here. We're just going to try and make this all, just trying to make this work. And it will work as long as we do it carefully. So now I'm going to try and spin on that third wire as best as I can. This is actually going a lot smoother than some of the other ones I've done with the junction boxes. Okay. So we at least
just want to get these top two straightened out if we can. Alright, so let's try. So they're all connected. Let's try and get a line on all these guys. And you can color coordinate the wire nuts if you really want to. Uh, but you see a white wire, it's usually neutral 99 out of 100 times. And the black is hot 99 out of 100 times. I've seen some backward stuff in the past, but that's really not common. So we do the same thing. We're going to cover up any exposing wires uh, that are underneath these wire nuts. And now the last thing, which I actually just kind of started doing recently, was doing a piggy tail, is what they call it. So this is a ground wire. I just cut this off of another piece of uh, another piece of wire. So I'm going to hoop this guy into just like I would if I was putting it onto a terminal uh, or something of that nature. So I'm going to try and straighten this, straighten some of this stuff out on this. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing with the grounds. Oh, if I don't want to fall over. So now we have the grounds to do. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to get them connected. And the grounds, you don't have to worry about being exposed or anything like that. They're just a safety feature that was put on. So, um, I think if I can go under here, I might get some leeway. Maybe. Just maybe. So, I guess as long as we can get them touching, and then. Also have my piggyback. So the piggyback I'm going to put, as long as you can see, I'm going to put under that screw right there and I'm going to screw that in as a ground. Necessary, but I, I think it's more just an added safety precaution. And if I can't get it on, it's, it's really not a big deal. But if I can, cool. So, just gonna attempt this one more time because these heads are, aren't as big as the. Alright, so it's on. We're going to try the same thing here. Oh, it is not on. It's not on as securely as I want it to be. But as long as I can get these three wires, these wires all connected, and the 
same time. You know, as long as they're all connected together, um, we're good. Even if one is loose or just kind of hanging about, uh, you're good to go. So I'm going to take a little off of this guy. This ground. attempt to wire nut these guys and like even if you left them like this it really would not be a big deal so typically with the with the grounds you would use I think a, a green color wire nut so all right so we have everything all the blacks are connected all the whites are connected all the grounds are connected we're grounded even to the box now and so from here we just kind of try to tighten everything in here a little bit um, and like I said just to be safe if you do see anything that's even exposed a little bit let's make sure we cover that and separate put them on the opposite side so the hot's over here the white's over here everything's good and then just so you know, um, these are actually these little punch holes uh, that are in here. And usually three of them will be in there. So you can usually just pop them out with a screwdriver or a hammer or something like that. So, um, And then from here, we're going to complete the box by adding the faceplate. And then, same thing like in my other videos, um, you know, before you put everything in stone here, um, test it out and make sure that all, make sure where all the power's going is working. So make sure that the outlet's working, or if you have two outlets, make sure they're working, make sure you have the light switch working, you know, make sure that the, everything's definitely going, uh, you know, according to plan. So going to tighten this guy in, we're going to tighten this guy in, and usually people don't mess with junction boxes <laughs> too much, so it's, no one's usually going to play around with these. So we have just installed a junction box, and now we have, instead of one power source, we have two. Well, we have three, but so just to summarize here, this is come the yellow wire is coming from the circuit breaker going into here. Everything is connected to everything. Black is connected to all the blacks, the whites are connected to all the whites, everything's still in series. So that would mean that this light switch would have power or whatever else you want it to connect it to and this outlet would be active as well and that's about it um, I hope you enjoyed this um, I know sometimes that doing this kind of stuff can take a little bit of time but make sure everything's secure make sure you be safe you know while you're doing all this stuff and um, you know if you do need help consult a professional make sure it gets done correctly um, please subscribe uh, like the video if you have any comments anything else you'd like me to uh, do a tutorial on that would be great thanks for watching guys see ya